My name is Werner Vinge, and I'm a science fiction writer. I came to Singularity University uh, to uh, uh, give a talk here. I talked about uh, uh, the future of group minds. Group minds was the rather broad term that I used to cover things like crowdsourcing and social networks, and actually some other categories of things that do not, do not have good names uh, yet. Right now, um, the, the group minds that are very popular and evident in the public consciousness uh, are, are, are things like social networks and, and crowdsourcing. I believe that um, the more general notion of using the internet and programs that run across networks and, and in the cloud to coordinate with humans to make uh, solutions to problems is actually a much broader thing than just the issues of social networks. Nowadays, one thing about science fiction that is actually very important in general planning is the notion of scenarios and scenario-based planning. And science fiction is, uh, is generally, is usually written to be enjoyed, but it also has a natural characteristic of being similar to scenarios and scenario-based planning. And those are topics that actually are uh, used in, uh, in, in real life and, and real planning. And the similarity between scenario-based planning and science fiction uh, has brought those two, I think, closer and closer together as technology has uh, accelerated. Um, the time between idly speculating about something and seriously spe speculating about something because there's money riding on the decision, that interval of time is a lot shorter. And engaging science fiction writers in dialogue about s such things I think at least has the characteristic of, uh, of shaking up the most ser more serious and, and often more knowledgeable uh, planners uh, when they are doing their scenario-based planning. A characteristic of the singularity for me is that the rise of superhuman intelligence um, is a qualitatively different form of technological progress than we've had to face in the past. You could explain to earlier people. You could explain the year 2012 to say somebody from the 1800s like Mark Twain. Um, on the other hand, you could not explain 2012 and our human uh, situation in 2012 to a goldfish. That is the sort of difference in progress that uh, to me uh, characterizes the technological singularity. And it's also a good reason for calling it a singularity. Uh, since it involves these, um, uh, a change in the rules that's so profound that talking about it is, is, uh, is difficult. There may be new models that are needed, and like the singularities in general relativity, it may be uh, uh, difficult to extract information about what happens uh, on the other side of such a singularity. Over the centuries, the amount of time that we have to, tr and the, and, uh, that we have to try to make the world a better place and the horizon of our self-interest. In other words, how far away in terms of other people's endeavors do we see that their welfare is positively connected with our welfare? The increase of that horizon has, it has made it feasible for humans to spend more and more of their time on, on um, uh, projects that in previous centuries might have been considered uh, to be uh, something that only a saint could do and that the saint was probably going to end up being martyred for doing it. Um, and now it's something that actually every, a enormous number of people see that uh, working on projects for the general betterment of humanity uh, is to everybody's interest. So I hear projects um, described by characteristics at, at Singularity University such as uh, 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 making the world significantly better in the next 10 years for at least a billion people. Now, that's the sort of goal that, um, that in, in which success at a much smaller level would still be regarded as a, a, a wonderful thing, but it certainly sets the bar uh, for il uh, in, in illustrating that uh, we're talking here about doing a, 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 a good on a very large scale. And I think actually uh, that having projects that make good on that larger scale has some real possibility of, of, uh, of uh, working now that we've seen the first 10 years of the, uh, 
of the 21st century. My name is Werner Vinge. I would say I'm a techno-optimist.